Good morning. What we're doing here is showing you how an in-between can be done. A fairly complicated one of a human head turning. <clears throat> the guide for this indicates there should be an in-between or breakdown halfway in between. Here you see I've started, already started to do that. Here's the breakdown. You see the nose tracking along there. And let's just continue on and I'll talk about it as I do it. Now, in terms of the whole shape, here's the bottom of the chin and the bottom of the chin. And here's the midpoint pretty much, and so we're following the same arc that you see here by this arrow, and so the midpoint should be here. So I'll make a little arc indicating where the new position of the bottom of the chin is. Another thing to look for is the axis, if there's a long axis. So this whole skull there's the long axis right there. Go ahead and draw that in on that. And here's the long axis of the second drawing. And you can see both of those through here. And so the long axis of the new drawing will be halfway long and right there. You see how it cuts right into the chin there. So that helps you with the orientation. And I see that with that, well, let's see what happens now. Now, one of my points of, of that I consider on him is this, where the bridge of his eyeglasses crosses the nose in the center there. And in this case, you can't see it there, but it would be high up on the lens about there. So from there to there, the midpoint is here, and that works out with that nose, doesn't it? So you can just kind of draw that in. Then you have, uh, you could go ahead and sketch in the whole shape, but it can be done in parts like this if you're always aware of keeping it on model. Um, so let's do this lens. You see that has a long axis there, and here. So that would be a long axis about here, something like that. Notice that this point, connecting point is high up here. So we're putting it down here like this. I don't like that. It's not quite right. Because the bottom, it's going to be more like this. Then you check that. Does that appear to be about halfway? Perhaps that's a little small, but we'll see. Then, uh, now the edge of the face is going to be, this is, this is a stretch, so I'm, I'm going on my familiarity with the character and my experience in drawing so that uh, see that is as much lens as is exposed on the other one <clears throat> now we are doing a little cheat here on this character design he is his eyeglass lens is a a long vertically oriented oval or ellipse. And it doesn't change, you know, technically you could say that that should be a uh, straight line, something like uh, there's his nose, and there's his eye, and you might see something like that. I didn't want to deal with that, so I'm doing a Mickey Mouse ears type of thing where it doesn't change shape, and I've been able to get away with that. It doesn't seem 
I've animated this character quite a bit now. It doesn't seem uh, to lose any credibility to maintain that. Perhaps without the example of Mickey's ears, I would never have tried it. But, okay, now I'm going for the um, this fold at the corner of his mouth would be about there. And I'm also now looking at this drawing as a drawing and as a, a good example of the character and make sure that I just don't wander off and make something that doesn't look like the, the character. And notice that the distance here between the contour of the lip and of this drawing and, and that. So I'm going to go somewhere half between that. So I'll go about here. And then the chin kind of keeps its shape here. And I'll go along like that. Now let's do the ear. The ear is an odd shaped thing. I'm very familiar with it, having done it many times. And I'm in some cases, so here's the, the point at the back of the ear, here and here. So that's going to be about uh, here. I do that. The lobe of the ear is a good one to follow. It'll be right about here. So I just connect that. Then I know these shapes, having drawn them so many times. When you're working with a newer, a new character, one you're not familiar with, it will take you longer to make these ju judgments and get them right. But you see, it's still looking like the same old guy. Now, let's see where the, uh, on that one, put his forehead right back here. See on that one, can you see it? There is uh -huh. it's working. And then there's the line describing the flesh at the base of his chin. It's kind of loose old man flesh, but it uh and then here is this is like a cheekbone uh intersecting with a fold of his cheek and that intersection would be about here and then this is more or less parallel with this crease so that's easy to figure out where that goes and then the back of the head kind of follows along in the same way let's for the hat um, I'm just doing the the basic form of the hat and then the hat brim. I notice this line where it, where it connects with the skull is actually equivalent to this line, not this one. This is the brim that stands out from the head. This is the line that we're talking about. So that's there. So it's going to be something like this. And then the hat band, some of it may be covered up. So we have a thing here where we're looking at the underside of the hat band and the top side of the hat band. So we want something convincing that's in between those two things. So we'll just make that kind of thin as it flips over from top to bottom. And note, this is where the, and notice also think of this as a full ellipse that goes all the way behind the head and all the way around because if the hat brim is on both sides, it connects up with itself eventually. So there's that and you see the, here's the tip of the hat brim on this side, there and there. It's important to flip these. You can't always make out the details that you want to look at without lifting and flipping. 
the lifting is something that they haven't perfected in uh, software that is supposed to be able to do pencil tests for you. Um, they just don't know what to do. I haven't done the neck on here, so I'm going to leave that out right now. Uh, but basically, there you have the in-between, or the breakdown in this case, of the whole head. We don't need to show his eye, maybe, but I'll just put in a little bit. And there you go.